Welcome to Hobby Life, episode 31, everybody. It's your host, Brody the Kid here, coming back at you guys with another episode. Thank you guys for tuning in today, and thank you to our sponsors, Beckett Media and Southern Hobby Supply. We have an awesome show today, guys. We have Tracy Hackler from Panini America to come on for a banner interview, and we're going to be doing product rip review with him, and we have some awesome packs including revolution basketball optic football and more so excited for that and to get you updated on the hobby news hobby week one two three so it's gonna be a great show let's get to it hobby week one two three number one mickey mantle is back with tops this is awesome i cannot wait to see him back in flagship sets so cool just one of the greatest players of all time should be really awesome also they already made a project 70 card for him so really cool to see him back with tops number two upper deck series two comes out and this is an awesome set there are tons of young guns to chase there's like five or six blackhawks really cool stuff make sure you guys check it out they did a great job with it this year and number three Domingo Ayala is in Donruss Baseball. Make sure you chase him. He has cards. It's really awesome. Very big time. Every time. All right, everybody. Now on Hobby Life Show from Panini America, Tracy Hackler. How are you doing today, Tracy? Brody, I am better than I could possibly ask for. If for no other reason than I get to join your show once again. So I'm doing well. Thank you. I hope you and yours are as well. Thank you for coming on part three, Tracy Hacker on Hobby Life. And it's going to be a banger. Let me tell you, this interview is a banger. It's going to be a banger. banger. (laughs) So I wanted to start off with talking to you. Basketball is getting hot. Prison basketball is coming out soon. Can you tell us about that set of the year where everybody just goes crazy? (laughs) It, you're right, man. Prism is just a juggernaut, you know, and the the 2021 version will be out next Wednesday. I'm not sure when the show this show airs, but it'll be out Wednesday, the 31st mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. March. And it is not an April Fool's joke. It is just so full of heat. And, you know, it's been really fun to watch the evolution of the Prism brand through the last, I guess, six, seven, eight years, mm-hmm. how it kind of started. And um, obviously there is, there's always been a following, uh, a desire in the marketplace for that yeah. Optichrome type product. And, mm-hmm. um, but to see it ascend to the levels it has just boggles my mind. I mean, really, and if you talk to people, like if so many people inside Panini uh, headquarters have been, collecting or a part of the industry for decades and decades and Mm -hmm. decades and to hear them talk about how staggering the success is of the prison brand um it really uh, hits home just how popular and important that product has become not just to panini but to the the industry as a whole so this year probably is going to take it to a new level of crazy oh man but it's it's been fun to watch, man. And just the, you know, people just know Prism. And so when we trans transition that brand over to football or uh, the premier league or WNBA or now the UFC, I mean, it, it resonates immediately, even if people have never had a chance to, to collect it. So it's, yeah. Anyway, that's a long winded way of, for me to say, to quote you, it's going to be a banger. <laughs> that is for sure. So you mentioned UFC too, and I wanted to talk to you about that. Guys, got the UFC license. I saw that the prison designs come out, and they look awesome. When is that coming out? I'm stoked for that. So we're keeping our fingers crossed, but if all goes according to plan right now, it'll be out in late April uh, in the hobby, and then at, at retail a few weeks after that. Um, you know, I'm a huge UFC guy. So if, depending on what fight card is taking place or what time of the year it is, it's a back and forth between the NFL and UFC for my favorite sport. So 
when we got the UFC license, I was giddy like a school kid on Christmas. I mean, it was, um, and then to kind of watch a little bit of the development of that product. Um, the fact that we're launching with Prism um, is, I think, a great really, way to start. Yeah, it's a great first step into that, into the octagon, so mm -hmm. to speak. And uh, so I'm really excited about it. I think we're going to, we have a lot of diehard UFC fans kind of working on it from a, not only from a product development perspective, but from an editorial perspective, a design perspective. Um, so I think we're going to knock it out of the park. Um, and I just, my biggest concern really is how do we follow up Prism? Like what, what are we, what are we going to have to do for an encore? Yeah. But I think our product development team, our design team have that kind of locked up and mm -hmm. we're not going to have any issues, but yeah, man, it late April is going to be on. Um, and I'm, I'm excited about it. That's pretty awesome. And you mentioned late April, it's going to start to get crazy in April for football cards. We still have crazy stuff. Out. I mean, we still got national treasures, flawless. I mean, wow. Can you tell us a little bit about what we still have left? Cause there are some huge stuff. Yeah. So, so typically, as you know, Brody, like, our, our NFL product season kind of ends, it's kind of ended by now. And we've, mm. we're kind of all into the, the new year stuff. Yeah. And so, um, but because of uh, the, the lockdown that, that mm. we had due to COVID, and then we had mother nature just came and kicked us right in the teeth a few weeks ago, locked it, locked us down again. Our schedules have been uh, shuffled quite a bit. So we still have, to your point, a lot of really fire 2020 NFL stuff coming out. Tomorrow, in fact, it, or I keep forgetting this is recorded because I'm a buffoon, but uh, encased football hits, which is its own little unique animal. Um, and then to your point, National Treasures is, <laughs> is going to be crazy. Yeah. And, and oh. with the Joe Burrow RPAs and the Tua and the Justin Herbert, I mean, um, and then flawless, and I think there's a uh, a new chronicles coming that has the debut. I think of a prism black uh, version. Oh man! So, and then at the same time, we're also trying to to juggle our anticipation for the 2021 rookie mm -hmm. class and what Trevor Lawrence and and uh, you name them, uh, Trey Lance and Sam Ellinger and um, Travis Etienne, what those uh, players have in store for us too. So yeah. late April, early May, late May is going to be phenomenal, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. National treasures and the new stuff. That's a good time to be collecting cards for sure. Yeah. And you know what's so funny about, especially that high end, as we look toward the, the NT RPAs and the, the flawless RPAs, mm -hmm. how, how, how far Justin Herbert grew in collector's yeah. eyes mm -hmm. throughout the course of the season. I mean, yeah. Joe Burrow was looked to be phenomenal before his injury, and he was kind of the number one of the class from, mm -hmm. from the beginning, more, uh, not just in the number one pick, but the number one yeah. um, in collector's eyes. But then Herbert, the way he performed throughout the season, and, and as a Broncos fan, it pains me to say, but, man, that stinks for the Broncos. It's yeah. great for the hobby, and just to see – even you go on Instagram or you you look at any breaks and the, the excitement that collectors have when they pull a nice Herbie, as they call them now, is pretty fun to watch. And so mm -hmm. it's cool when a player like that who there was anticipation for him, right? But mm -hmm. not like on that Joe Burrow level. Right. It's always great to see when players like him or Justin Jefferson really exceed expectations. It mm -hmm. takes the hobby to a whole yeah. new level. Um. So, yeah. Oh, definitely. And me and you are in the same boat. I'm a Raiders fan. You're a Broncos fan. And we already had to deal with Patrick Mahomes. Which I know. Is, that's not fun. And now you got to deal with this kid. And we just have Derek Carr and Drew Locke. Who are, Drew Locke. Oh, oh man. Yeah, it's going to be a long five to ten years for us, Brody, I fear. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. All right. Well, all this talk about sports cards has really wanted me to open some sports cards. So you ready rip it open. to rip some cards, Tracy? Uh, you know what, Brody? You know I am, bro. 
Let's on, go. Let's go. Rip that stuff. Product rip review. All right, guys. So let's get to this. We have a pretty interesting product rip review today. So once the LCS, I got two packs from baseball, basketball, football, and NASCAR. So we're gonna have a blast today. Look at a bunch of different sports. So you ready, Tracy? Brody, bro, you know I'm ready to rip. I'm <laughs> always right. ready to rip, especially with you. <laughs> so let's start off with the brand new 2021 Donners baseball. I got two packs of these. Awesome stuff. Eight cards per pack. Tell us a little about Donners baseball, Tracy. Donners is our flagship brand in baseball. It's been around for, for what seems like forever. You know, back in the early 80s, glory days and um it just every year it's our traditional way there's to start the season it's the quintessential way to start the collecting baseball season mm -hmm. and our design team keeps raising the bar in terms of the i love this year's base design is diamond kings yep and then i also love the the Ooh. nods to nostalgia that we continue to put in there there's a rated rookie that classic make, make magical rookie. For my White Sox. And then we have a backwards card. Oh, BC hits. Number to 99, Garrett Crochet autograph. For my you PC White that Sox. guy? Wow. That's one of your PC dudes? Yeah. White that's Sox. awesome, dude. That's awesome. His signature series. That's that's awesome. Number to 99. He's can throw, he can throw the ball really hard around. Like, Does he bring the heat? consistently throw around 100 miles an hour so that that's like the other awesome. the other guy they had michael kopek right he's oh, yeah. another guy that can flame mm -hmm. throw yeah he should be coming back soon yeah. we have some people coming back from injuries but then we also just heard that eloy jimenez is gonna be out for five to six months so oh man uh, oh that's vladdy's dad right there isn't it yeah Vlad. and then i put this one to the side because we got three white socks in the back one of my favorite players growing up Paul Canerco. Oh, nice. An awesome throwback. Was Canerco on that World Series team? Yes, I believe so. So that's pretty cool. You know who my favorite baseball player is of all time? Who? The White Sox version of Carlton Fisk. Not the Red Sox version, the White Sox version. So, little known fact. Yeah, I like Carlton Fisk. He was awesome. He was a really he was great. Player. Awesome catcher for Sox and for both socks, which is yeah, for both socks, he changed his socks. Cool. Yeah, Solano, nice throwback here. Jim Tomey, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, oh, Hammer, nice. Jordan Alvarez should be interesting guy coming back from injury. Yeah, um, be interesting uh, to see what he does. One of the key young guys from last two years. Yeah, Ian Anderson, rated rookie, and then oh, this is pretty cool. They have a nice whoa number seven thirty two of twenty twenty one. Hebert okay. Ruiz, rated rookie. Nice. Oh, it's like the the uh, candy stripe looking thing. Yeah, that's a really cool card. Nice rook, rated rookie. Nice. And, ooh, we have a blue foil. Braylon Marquez. So we got nice. two rated rookie parallels in that pack. Man, these two packs of Donruss were killer. Yeah, I love Donruss. And I love the, they're bangers. They're, they were both bangers, dude. Um <laughs> I love the uh, the parallels in Donruss too, the, the little fun, like the fire yeah. emoji ones. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I think our guys and gals continue to do great things with the Donruss brand. Mm -hmm. For sure. All right. You ready to dive into some NASCAR? I'm ready to, to not have to pit and just stay on the, go on the track it. the whole time. Let's All go. right. We've got. 2021 Donruss, and we got an awesome pack of Chronicles. Oh, nice. Well, so Chronicles are really fun. We'll start with Donruss, eight cards in here. This is a really fun product, lots of cool stuff in here. This is a product that if you're looking for something cheap and fun to rip, this is your product to go to. These are- Agree. These are like uh, hovering around like, I think like 75 bucks a box, maybe a little more, but I mean, no, you're right. I, I, I agree with you. I just love the variety that Donruss has in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For, and fun. all the throwback nuances, the, the retro 80, 81s and 83s. And oh, there it is. Smell that. Is that a tire? I think so. Smell it. 
I smell oh, yeah. rubber. No, very good. That's so great. William Byron, who won, her, won his first race this year. So Yes. Nice. Yeah, he did. Rubber out of 250. That's really cool. Race day There's rubber. no other sport that you can open up a relic card and smell the smell of burning rubber. Yeah. It's the best. Yeah, for sure. There's a nice gray parallel. Oh, this action-packed Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Look at that. Thing. Oh, look at that. Look at those fireworks. In yeah, the that looks background. really good on the camera. Wow. Yeah, that, it does. It. Do you remember the original action pack, Brody? That had, that was the the embossed yeah. card. That yeah, yeah mm -hmm. those are awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are one of my sets. I actually, I remember getting a couple of those in the LCS. That were pretty cool. Bubba Wallace. Yeah. Bubba. Brandon Jones. So pretty good pack at NASCAR too. We are doing pretty good. The you got the hot pack. hand, dude. Yeah, you got the hot hand every time. You know what I'm saying? Every time. <laughs> all right nascar chronicles. chronicles eight cards in here you're gonna get probably eight different sets which is awesome one of the most enjoyable rips you'll ever have is yeah any chronicles product mm -hmm. because you get like you said eight different brands oh nice ailey deegan rookie from nice the score. A nice He's on that truck on the truck series now. Yeah. Alex Bowman. And then we have a backwards. Nice. Look at that. Uh, That's a really chunky. <laughs> oh, the it, spectral one, dude. Those are awesome. If it a little tiffed. Chunky. Yeah. It's yeah. chunky, dude. Chunky. I like that. Nice. I like that descriptor for fat trading cards. They're chunky. Oh, there's the candy man, Cal Bush, right? Yeah, Kyle Bush, nice. Uh, we have number to one ninety nine, Jimmy Johnson. Uh, legend, Tire. amazing legend. Oh, that's Here. the. I'm trying to think what product that is. That, that's oh, uh, status. There it is. Yes, yeah, status. Mm -hmm. We didn't. I think that was a standalone product, like one time, and ever yeah. since then we've used it in a few different mm -hmm. sports. And I love the yeah. way it looks. Yeah, they're really cool. We have a William Byron Select football will be coming soon too. That's going to be a really hot. Release. Yeah, we did mention that one at the top. Yeah, you're right. Now, Joey oh, Lugano. there he is. Silver Select. Joey Logano. Love yeah. Joey. Joey's a great guy. He's one of our ambassadors on the NASCAR side. And he's a phenomenal dude. All right. So let's talk every time. So I have this shirt on because Domingo Ayala is in Donner's baseball. Can of course we, he is. We really talk a little bit about Domingo Ayala. How this is awesome. He's been in Donner's for I think three years now. Like this is so cool. Like how did this come about? Like this is. Awesome. You know we like. I love Domingo Ayala. He's so funny. <laughs> Always he's funny, and I guess if yeah, I guess it would have been. This would be the third year. Our our baseball product development guys, Tim Trout. Michael Layton and then our acquisitions guy Alex Carbajal were just big fans of him on mm -hmm. social and YouTube and stuff and they just said he's kind of fits that that same kind of role as the the famous San Diego chicken not not the same people obviously but that yeah that cult like mm -hmm. following mm -hmm. that they have and uh we approached Domingo and he was all about it and we had him at the uh spring training road trip his first year and he came in and had some fun with a lot of the players he signed some autographs and um yeah man we're we're happy to have him he's pretty big thing <laughs> yeah. so i got this shirt for christmas and i got to go on a zoom call with him and he he, he was hilarious the guy was awesome it's just he's funny right funny. he's and he recorded my voicemail for my phone and it's oh my goodness it was so funny Oh, I love it. It's my friend that watches them too. I told him, just call me and I'm going to I'm gonna hang up. Just listen to it. It's hilarious. It's just so funny. That's oh, awesome. So good. All right. He, Wait, what did you guys say? No, I was going to say he's got a good autograph too. But Oh, yeah. His autograph's really cool. And he got the jerseys too. I mean, it's just <laughs> awesome. He's big time. You know what would be cool? What if the guy's brought into the national? Maybe the VIP party or something? Oh, oh the mingle at the VIP party. That would be, oh my goodness. He'd be he would kill there. it, dude. He would yeah. kill it. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, Domingo Ayala. I'm not ruling. Look, Brody, we don't rule anything out. It's all on the table, bro. <laughs> Everything's on the table for Domingo Ayala. He can do anything. <laughs> so it, it's definitely a possibility. Yes. All right. Let's do some football, Tracy. Oh, I love football. I've dun, got dun, dun, dun. contenders first, and I know you want to talk about a giveaway. Yeah, what do you have? You have one pack there? Yeah, I got a hobby pack right here. Right, hold on, hold on. Time out. Time, time out. out. Two minutes left. We got to have a little time out here. Uh-oh. All right, time in. So I've got a box here oh. that I want to gift to Brody the Kid and his followers, his audience, and you guys can do with that whatever you want. Wow, thank All you. Right. That's awesome. Of course. Stay tuned to my socials because that's a oh, wow. Thank you so much, Tracy. That's awesome. Oh, you're welcome, man. You are you are the man, Tracy. <laughs> but this, right. I don't want to take away from your one pack. So let's let's get your pack. We can worry about the box later. Hopefully, this pack has a banger, Justin Herbert, one of one auto, and I can go to oh. college for free. Would be the most watched BTK episode maybe of all time. Yeah, probably. All right. Here's the design. Big Ben. Big Ben. Pretty cool. I like how um so it's the seat, their sections, their weights, their rows, their height, and then their number is the seat. So that's pretty yes. Cool. And that's an, another classic kind of juggernaut brand from mm -hmm. years yeah. gone by. Jason Whitten and I did we have a backwards card so I think we might have an auto so Ooh. let's show this Joe Mont or Steve Young Joe Montana. Steve Young. they're both really good so I mean both legendary yeah. contenders both one of the sure. best quarterbacks of all time so <laughs> <laughs> all right who is this autograph we have oh this is awesome Rodrigo Blankenship that's a that's from oh Georgia. nice that's awesome yes <laughs> wow Rodrigo a really good kicker wow Oh my god. He's a kid from so Georgia, cool. right? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that, that is cool. That's really not, cool. Not many kickers have rookie autograph cards, yeah. bro. That's awesome. Great young kicker. Man, that is so yeah. really he's a nice, nice autograph. autograph, too. Yeah, he took a lot of work into that. That's really cool. Wow. We are doing pretty good, Tracy. Wow. You're on a roll. You yeah. are on a roll. And for this next pack, hopefully we have the next luck. 2020 optic, optic football. Downers optic. Here we go. That's going to be four cards. That's pretty, that's pretty big time. Yeah. <laughs> that's I'm a nervous. very big time. This is a very big time pack. I'm oh. nervous right now. Yeah. This, I'm nervous. All right. My first pack of the year. Ooh. Travis Kelsey. These cards are just okay. so beautiful. One of my favorite sets. Just awesome design. Yeah. It really makes the, it's Donruss, but like Donruss. Kind of intensified, right? Because yeah. it's, it's on the Optichrome. It, it really yeah. looks nice. Mike Gusecki. Okay. We have an insert. Oh, retro series Jerry Rice. That's pretty cool. Oh, nice. Okay. Man, the Niners have a lot of legendary players. They, have a lot <laughs> they of players. really do. Some of the some of the most maybe that whole '80s team was yeah. something else. And then a rookie of Raekwon Davis. Okay. All right. Nice. All right. So cool. Nice Jerry Rice insert, a rookie. All right. Got two packs left. And we're going to basketball. Uh-oh. And basketball, eh, basketball is very, very, very big time, banger worthy, whatever you want to call it. It's huge. It's all of that. It's yeah, all of that. Everything. So you may have to wear you may you may have to wear oven mitts to open those packs. Yeah. Gonna be <laughs> so we got two packs. We've got okay. Donruss. Love it. And Love it. this one I'm excited for. Revolution. This stuff. Oh, okay. I'll do that one in a second. Two very different products, too, yeah. right? Very, very different products. They didn't it just yeah. All right. Eight cars in here. This is from a retail box, so you get one auto per box, and there's 24 packs, so if you could pull an auto, that'd be pretty lucky. Oh, yeah, you would be uh, also the odds, maybe. You're really looking for all the rated rookies, so Lamelo, who's sadly out, well, likely out for the season. Yeah. He's probably going to win rated or rookie of the year, so that's kind of interesting. 
We uh, should. They should change the name of it to Rated Rookie of the Year. I think that'd be that'd be pretty awesome. Rated Rookie of the Year. That'd be. That'd be a mar- that might be a marketing spin that we have to make. That would be so cool, Jackson Hayes, and we have a back. No way, we got the autograph. Holy what? Fuck. Daniel yeah. House Jr. Auto. Wow. wow. I am just like, we're on fire. You're living right, dude. You are living Holy right. Cow. That's our third auto out of seven packs. And, and we had that um, William Byron and some nice stuff. Donruss, wow. You need to go play the lottery, bro. <laughs> I like your luck. I like your odds. Oh, man. There is a Andre Drummond. What is that? It's a power in the power paint. in the paint. That's a nice looking card. Yeah, a little kind of a retro design feel to it. Tyrese Halliburton, nice rated rookie. He's Great dude too. Well. He was. He joined us for our um, NBA All Star live stream. We did. He's a great kid, man. Really nice and great player. Big into yeah, great player. Big into collecting. He's another one of those guys that. People have high hopes for, but he, mm-hmm. when he he kind of exceeds expectations early, it yeah. really helps the entire yeah. product line. Yeah, and then and Isaac Coral rookie too. He was a pretty high pick, really good. Yeah, defender. he's good. Wow, so that was a pretty good pack at Donruss. I will take that. Wow. Oh my gosh, you beat the odds. And we still got Revolution. We've got this a is a fun one, it, and we still got Revolution. And this Five was. Party. This one's not for the faint of heart, man. If you get like dizzy easy or you might want to be sitting down when you open this because the, <laughs> the flashy effects will. Oh, man. The, oh, geez, these cards are so nice. But this <laughs> this set is not necessarily about the autos. It's about all the crazy parallels and stuff. I mean, wow. Exactly. Look at that card. Oh, my goodness. That shit. Yeah, it pops on your camera, too. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> You're looking for the Galactics, right? The, oh, in that yeah. one of the. You get a good rookie. Whew. Yeah, forget about it. Card number two, Norman Powell, who I believe got traded today. I think he went, I think he got traded maybe to like the Trailblazer or something. I think everybody got traded today, man. It was crazy. Yeah, there was a lot of, my Bulls had like three trades. So there was a lot of stuff going on. With yeah, that. a lot of movement. And Simmons. And then, oh, this is a die cut. What is this? Lift what, was it off lift off? Die yes. Cut fractal of genius. Oh, look at that. I love liftoff. That is awesome. The die cut's cool. And that's a different pattern, too. Oh, yeah. you said fractal, right? Fractal. Yeah. This, wow. That's a beautiful card. And then, nice! My pick to win Rookie of the Year. I thought he still would have won it, even if LaMelo was still playing. This guy's been playing amazing the last couple of days. Anthony I I Edwards. Yeah, boom. That's a nice one. Nice. He's playing really well, man. Yeah. Another Georgia guy. I mean, he had his third youngest player score 40 in a game, so that's really nice. And he can get up and get his and throw it down too, score. bro. <laughs> oh man, he's gonna have so many highlights in his career. A crazy dunk. No doubt. I mean, and he's so strong and he's big with a wow. Really, we killed it on these packs today, guys. You, so, you nailed it. Yeah, you nailed it. So let's move on with the interview. Boom! All right, we're back with the interview. Had to stand up, a little dizzy after opening all those cards. So it's got a little nervous, but we're pulling Pretty some good. bangers. They were definitely bangers. But I think it has more to do with the fact that you were pulling them than yeah. what you were pulling. I mean, you just have the hot hand. So yeah. if you need to take a break every now and then to get some oxygen, get some water, render first aid, whatever. <laughs> For sure. I have a cup of water by you while you're opening cards because it can, <laughs> it, it can get nerve wracking. Yes. All righty. So the national is coming. Hopefully it's looking good right now. What are Panini's plans? Yeah. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Well, I, I'll just throw this out there, Brody. You know this. Hopefully people watching know this. If there is going to be a national, there is going to be Panini America trying to steal the show. That's that's what we do. We it's one of our most important events of any year, from the wrapper redemption program to having our customer service team on site doing live redemptions, the kids free case breaks, um, the VIP party. Um, I mean, the breakers are in our booth 
we just go all out. And mm-hmm. I'm lucky enough I get to share an office with Scott Prusha, who um, he makes, you've met him obviously, but he makes all of our special like promotional sets for the national. And, oh. So I get to share an office with him and see kind of the, the wizard behind the curtain, what he's working on. And we were kind of bummed was as was everyone else that there wasn't a national last year. Um, so I think we're, um, we're gearing up for big, big things. And so I don't know that we have too much like completely defined yet, but I just mm-hmm. know that it's the most important show we do and we pull out all the stops to, to impress our fans and collectors. So you can count on that once again. That is awesome here. Oh, I'm so excited for the national. And you mentioned up to mention those promo packs. And I remember the last national we had, those were Zion Williamson's first cards. And oh my goodness, the hype <laughs> was crazy. Oh and man, just, people were going can, nuts. Like, well, think about where it would be now, right? Because the industry, I mean, it's it's at it's at this place that we maybe we've never been as an industry. Mm-hmm. And so that's why I think it is so important for us to kind of get get back to that national because that is such a uh, a key event for everybody in the industry mm-hmm. and yeah to 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 have a national in these current conditions would be next level in terms of anticipation participate participation passion i mean it's all there in yeah. in quantities that we've never seen so we're keeping our fingers crossed and are hopeful that we get there it's going to be madness. Whatever rules we have to do, I'm in. Uh, whatever we I'm have in, to do, yes. I'm going. It, and, wow, I, it's going to be crazy. We are in. Yes, sir. Wow. Just can't wait. It's pretty far away, though. So, oh, well, not super. It will fly you know, quick. It's, a, it's always thick. It will fly quick. It's almost April now, man. Yeah. yeah. Not that, yeah we're really not that far. Yeah, we're not that far. Wow. Oh, man. I can't wait to look inside. It's, Oh man, the feel those people, those booths, the tables. Field. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy for sure. So, since I'm obviously a kid collector, I'm trying to get more kids to hobby. Can you give us an update on the kids panini crate or panini kids crate? I said kids, and I wanted to say hey, it's all good. Like, it's all good. I knew exactly what you meant. Um, I messed that you, one up. <laughs> no, you didn't. You didn't. You're fine. I've Trust me, as a guy who's been called bad things my whole life, messing up a name like that is no problem. <laughs> um, so we, I, I actually do have updated information. I talked to our great Kevin Hake, who's our director of sales, uh, before I jumped on with you. Mm-hmm. And the, the Panini Kids Create program is still slated to launch this year sometime in the second quarter. Um, our schedule's kind of been bumped around because of the shutdowns and, and things, but uh, the plan right now is to have it released in the second quarter, and it will consist of of products, the 2021 football lines mm-hmm. um, and uh, uh, baseball lines, and then 2021 NBA rookies. Um, awesome. And as more and more details, now that we kind of have our production schedule back solidified and, mm-hmm. and shuffled and set, hopefully it, I'll have more details for you in terms of specific types of products and things going in it uh hopefully in the next few weeks that's awesome i'm really glad to hear that can't wait so it's important man it's important yeah. mm-hmm. obviously it, the the cost of sports cards is at a again at an unprecedented place and mm-hmm. um a lot of kids just can't afford this stuff and so mm-hmm. if we're able to kind of help with that and get mm-hmm. something affordable that's cool it's not just a cheap product that's it's a cool product, a compelling product that has nice inserts and, and chases and stuff. We're, we're happy to do it. I'm looking forward to it hitting. Well, thank you to Panini America. That is awesome news. I cannot wait for that. It's going to be awesome. Hey, yeah, cool. It is now time for everyone's favorite segment of Hobby Life, Interrupting Games. No. Somebody pitch me so my nightmare can go away. Now is the part of the show where we play a game with our guests. And if our guest gets 20 million thousand trillion points, 
someone in the live chat will win a prize. A lot of points. Is Tracy Hackler ready to beat his own time on his last Ooh. journey down interrupting game That's show? That's some pressure there. How long was it? I don't even Do we... remember. Well, it's, it's irrelevant. Just... I'm gonna beat it. You just gotta beat go, it. Just gotta go rapid fire. Gotta be finger. Can't tell him it's a secret. That's what it is. It's Whoa. a secret. So if Tracy beats his old time, someone in the live chat's gonna win a very cool Brody the Kid prize pack. We'll see if he's still got it in him. Tracy Hackler, are you ready? I'm ready. On your marks. Get set. Do it. Favorite subject in school. Journalism. Ice cream sundae or gas station slushy. Gas station slushy. Would you rather be a contestant on Wheel of Fortune or Deal or No Deal? Deal or No Deal. Choose one. Sing with a boy band at the Super Bowl halftime show or do a high dive during the Olympics? Sing with a boy band. College sports or pro sports? Pro sports. Would you rather have to wear a tuxedo to work for one year every day or wear a chicken suit for every day at the National? Chicken suit every day at the National. You still get to go. I mean, it's pretty good. What is more scary, creepy clowns or pack searchers? Pack searchers. New York pizza or Chicago pizza? Ty. I'm sorry. Chicago, Chicago, I Chicago. Lost every game show in the entire world. <laughs> Just kidding. But you get minus five points. Go. Chicago. Uh, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> Skiing on water or snow? No. And because I always ask everyone, Anna or Elsa? Elsa? Okay. All right. Ding, 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 ding. We've decided, even though he is absolutely 100% wrong about New York pizza being better, Tracy Hackler has one interrupting game show, and someone in the chat will win a prize. Well, you yes. Say better. It was a tie, but I mean, when it comes to Chicago, it, Chicago doesn't really accept ties, you know? It's kind know of like, your it's audience, win. Tracy. I know, but then I said Chicago after the tie. <laughs> All right. So, somebody in the live chat, comment below to win a prize. All right. Sweet. Awesome. All right. Got just a couple of quick things for you here wrap up all right just curious who are your picks for nba to win mvp rookie of the year and who will win the nba finals mvp i mean Why? all the answers all the answers are obvious answers right it's like yeah is it Giannis again i mean he's mm -hmm. he's playing out of his mind is it lebron um, you know there's a lot of yeah lebron again i mean the injury who knows how that yeah how that will impact him but um i mean could it be luca <laughs> i don't know if it's just luca's year i, I don't think That'd it be. is but it could be so i'm going to give you the easy answer the the cop-out answer of Giannis okay. anthony tacumbo uh for rookie of the year i'm kind of with you in anthony edwards i think even before uh, Melo got hurt. I mean, he was having a phenomenal rookie yeah, season. Yeah, he was but... definitely up there. It was pretty much only him and Lamelo. I probably could have won it. Yeah, and, and Edwards. Um, even when Lamelo was playing, Edwards was leading all rookies in points. Mm -hmm. um, so I think, and his dunks have captivated a lot of new fans. So I think I'm going to go with Anthony Edwards, like you. Um, and then the other question was, oh, finals. Mm -hmm. It's I mean, again, I can... what's that? It's an interesting because I know with I, with LeBron and AD being injured, we don't know how long LeBron's been injured. But I was playing two K the other day, and it's updated rosters. And without LeBron and Anthony Davis, their it's team different. was horrible. <laughs> I don't think they had an eighty overall in their starting lineup. But I was like, well, I guess I'm not using the Lakers because I would get destroyed. Yeah, it's a different without. I mean, it goes. That, look, there's only five starters on the court at one time. And when two of your starters are Anthony Davis and LeBron James and they're not there, that is huge. Yeah. But I think I'm going to go with a team that, like, could surprise people, right? Like, because everybody's going to say Lakers or Nets or whatever. But I'm going to give you somebody like – and I'm not just being a homer when I say that the Mavericks could get hot. And if they do, yeah. and Luka gets on a magical run. And I'm also partial to Steph Curry still, so – 
Um, I mean, I don't think they're going to win, but I'll give you the Mavericks and then a flyer on the Golden State Warriors. No, pretty interesting. I, I agree with everything, really. I mean, awesome. be, being a Bulls fan, I mean, I haven't really <laughs> seen a good team in a while, so you just kind of roll with what's going on, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you got Zach Levine, though. So yeah. that's, I mean, that's he's, worth something. Yeah, he's a good player, but I kind of feel bad for him because the, yeah. he's a good Vucevic, though, and he's a good player. So we'll He see. is? We'll see what happens. All right. Can you tell us where you can find Panini on social media? You can find us on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, at Panini America, real simple. We're on TikTok at official, official Panini America because somebody took Panini America. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not happy about it. Um, and then check us out at PaniniAmerica.net as well for new product information and, and to buy product and just to find out more about what we're doing. Awesome. Everybody, make sure to give a thought if you haven't already. Well, it was definitely a banger of an episode, Tracy. We called it every time, big time, big episode. Every time. Yeah. Every time. You're, you're big time, and every episode with you is a banger, bro. So, I mean, anytime you need a guest, even if you – it's the last second, just hit me up. I'm on. I definitely will because I know – we're going to produce a banger of an episode every time. Such a banger. <laughs> well, thank you, Tracy. And peace out. Peace, bro. That's it for Hobby Life Show, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Thank you to our sponsors, Becca Media and Southern Hobby Supply. Thank you guys so much for this brand new ad in the new Beckett very awesome thank you guys so much and thank you to tracy hackler from panini america for coming on for a banger interview and a banger giveaway make sure you guys stay tuned to my socials at brody tk on twitter and brody the kid one on instagram so you know how you can win that and also make sure you check out my blog rick with brody the kid at bigleaguebreaks.com Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all for episode 32. Peace out! Can I stand up for a second? I'm like dizzy after opening all those packs. <laughs>